Joining us now on the phone is Leroy Walker. He is a city councilor in Auburn, Maine, just next to Lewiston. And his son, Joe, was the manager at that bar and grill that was targeted last night. And he has learned that Joe was killed in last night's attack. Leroy, first, we are just so, so deeply sorry for your loss. Thank you for taking a moment to talk with us. If you could share what's going through your mind as you process this. Oh, boy. Right now, it's uh, what are we going to do tomorrow or the next day and how are we going to handle all this? Uh, his poor wife, Tracy, is uh, just torn apart from, you know, from the news, which took 14-plus hours to, to tell us and then notify us of, of, of this, which is just totally... A nightmare. We none of us slept. We were up all night. We didn't know where to go, who to turn to. The, the state police took over the uh, the crime scene. They didn't notify any of us people that were waiting to hear about something or anything. Uh, I guess the FBI got involved. They were there by 11 or 12. Again, they didn't notify anybody or reach out to anybody. And they knew we were all looking for our loved ones because the hospital mm -hmm. had all of our names. Everybody that was looking for a loved one, the hospital had our names. So all they had to do was check in with the hospital. They knew that's where we were all sent. But these double doos have got a, uh, whatever they call it, sweep uh, the place and this and that. And they can't touch the bodies. They can't do this. While we're all suffering and dying in a nightmare. Mm -hmm. That we, we don't understand. This does sound like such an unimaginable situation to have to go through this and the nightmare that you describe. Uh, I can I can understand, or I, I probably can't understand how you must feel, but I, I just want you to know how much my heart is with you right now. What do you want us to know about Joe? I want you to know that Joe is a great, great son, loving husband. He had two grandchildren and, and a, a stepson living at home with them, bringing them all up. Uh, loved thousands of people, thousands of people loved him. Uh, he, he started all the sports games that, that Shemingis has been doing for the past five, six years. He has grown that business tremendously. And again, like I said, thousands of people, he, he'd help anybody, work with anybody put on any kind of a tournament that they wanted, raise money for many, many groups. He was actually going to do a, 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 cor a cornhole tournament uh, in a, uh, November 11th for the, to raise money for the veterans. And, of course, now that's not uh, veterans, I'm sorry. And because that's not going to work now because he, he's dead. So, uh, a, a hell of a loss. Yeah. To the community, he's done everything that he could in his community. He, he, he uh, took over his mom's homestead when she passed away, and he's, he's remodeled, rebuilt it all. He's got two brothers that live side by side with him, and, and we have another brother that lives out of state uh, for Joey, and uh, it's, it's, just, it's just crazy. It's, it's still a nightmare. I haven't... I know, I know he's gone. I've gone through this before. I lost a daughter in a car accident oh over 25 years ago in Lisbon. And, and now I've lost a son uh, across the river. I live in Auburn, and so did, so did my son. And, uh, and now I've lost him to somebody that, you know, has got a sick illness or, you know, something. I don't know exactly what's wrong with the man or what happened, but... And I'm, uh, I'm just uh, like, yeah. I guess I'm still in cloud nine somewhere, as I think. Well, Leroy, nobody should have to go through what you're going through as a parent and to lose a, a son in this manner. Just, just so unbelievable. If you can, walk us through those events last night, those moments when you realized your son was, wasn't accounted for. Well, when it, when it all started, I had one son that that called me uh, 
my youngest son actually uh, called me and said, Dad, I just heard that uh, Joey was shot at Shemingi's and might be dead. And because uh, I almost fell to my knees and everything, I said, mm-hmm. don't tell me that because it just brought back when my daughter was killed. And I got that phone call saying your daughter has just been killed. It, it just it brought it all back and uh, I just fell apart. Leroy Walker, thank you so much again for talking with us, and please be well. Our, our hearts are going to remain with you, your whole community. I'm wishing you strength and comfort right now. Yeah, I'd just like to finish by saying uh, my love goes out to all the other families. Yeah, I'd just like to... Thank you, thank you. Leroy, I'm so sorry. And Joe sounds like he made such a difference in this world. Um, he's got such a beautiful smile. And uh, you, you described what an incredible person that he, he was. Thank you for sharing his memory with us. Thank you. Thank you very much.